Hello everyone and welcome to a special video. My name is Ivan, I'm one of the developers of Turbo Chicken Simulator and today we are doing something a bit different. So what I'm going to do is compare the first version of our game and the latest version which had 10 weeks of update and the thing you're looking at right now is the very first version that was released to Steam Early Access version 0 0.1. Uh, usually when we make videos we create a script and then we make a very dense uh, information packed video but today I wanted to try something a bit different. Instead of that, I'm going to do a live reaction as I play. It may end up horrible, it may end up good, but whatever. Uh, please leave your opinion in the comment section. Tell me if you enjoyed watching this or if you absolutely hated it. So, without further ado, let's start this adventure. So, first thing I can notice immediately is this floor here com looks completely different. We replaced it uh, with a different texture after introducing terrain tessellation yeah which which made uh, things a bit nicer then again no volumetric fog in the distance so i know it looks kind of flat without it but i will overlay the latest version of the game over this so you know what i'm talking about okay Let's go further. Let's go to Commander Cock. Uh, yeah, immediately we can see that interaction button is different. When we talk to him, uh, font is different and the size of the font, but other than that, story has not changed much. Yeah, so he wants us to destroy these uh, targets. Some of you maybe played this game already, but for those of you who have not, this is the introduction section or tutorial. One thing that we can also notice immediately is that there are no pickup items, so those were introduced only a few versions ago, so map was empty, you, there were no things to pick up. In the latest version we have plenty of pickups, different types that you can use to heal yourself or create meals and stuff like that. Okay, here is Henniken Eggwalker. Again, same discussion, nothing much has changed, but there is one thing that has changed. Let's press the tab button. Okay, let's go to the inventory. Yeah, inventory looks very, very bare bones compared to the latest version. There are no categories. Uh, also, corn grain was marked as consumable in the latest version. It's also a bait for fishing. Yeah, so many things have been introduced. We, we're going to get to the abilities a bit later. Okay, let's go to the first enemy. Let's see what he's up. Immediate change that you'll notice it is that he has only 5 health. Unlike the latest version, where enemies have 50 HP. Okay, that was simple. Let's pick up the clock reactor. Okay, notification, completely different. The latest version, we can actually see what was added to our inventory. Alright, so I did a bit of fast forward to skip the fighting for you. And here we are at our third friend called Egnardo Di Cacrio. So, he wants us to learn how to glide. Yes, indeed, we're going to do that. Now, press tab. And one of the biggest changes you can see here is, first of all, in the latest version you'll get a very nice uh, icon showing you what's what you can actually upgrade or, or what you can't. Also, these ugly overlays are not being shown. And uh, attack and rate of fire are gone, so that's kind of strange. So we actually removed something in the latest version, and yes, and that's because we have replaced this system with a completely new system that uses uh, food, so you need to cook up things that uh, give you special abilities, special types of uh, bullets, and it's much more complex than the basic damage and rate of fire. But let's update the glide, okay? We have done that and we can proceed. Okay, we finished the tutorial, and it's time to get in some action. Here is our friend, Clit Westwood. 
As always, he's very hungry, he wants us to get to Temzilla and Hartsville, get some chevaps, and he's gonna give us his Yugo to do that mission. So, let's see what are the differences between the Yugo in the version 0.1 and the version 0.2, the latest version of the 10 weeks of updates. So, let's see how that looks. Okay, f immediate thing that I noticed that's missing is lack of music. Believe it or not, the latest version of Turbo Chicken Simulator has entire radio station that you can listen to while you drive. Sweet tea and pull up a hay bale because we got some real toe tapping tunes lined up for you today. Also, a uh, thing that is very different is the driving feel, and yeah, this, this was just bad. <laughs> you gotta take so much time to start, but at least we got nitro immediately, so yeah, we didn't have to buy Nitro in this version, unlike in the latest version, but on the other hand, the Yugo in the latest version is so much better, oh my god. Okay, I'm just going to overlay the video here just to show how, it. it I think it's even visible how much better the, the new driving system is compared to the old one. Okay, but before we go on to our mission, we're gonna make a bit of a detour. We are not going to listen to our friend, this is an open world game after all, so we can do whatever we like. Yeah, and here we are, we are coming to a special place, now... This reminds me of that scene in, in Back to the Future when he comes to his hometown and it doesn't exist, yeah, so... This is where in version, I don't know, 0 0.5 or something, or 1.5, sorry, 0 0.15, yeah, that's correct, we've, or 16, we introduced uh, a fishing village, so as you can see, right now here is absolutely nothing, but in the current version that's on Steam, uh, somewhere around here you can find a... Uh, fish store that will actually sell, uh, buy your fish that you catch. There are a bunch of tents here and fishermen fishing. And somewhere around here, in front of me, there would be a, a fishing equipment store and shore also looks much different. So in the latest version of Turbo Chicken Simulator, you can actually buy fishing equipment and you can fish at any location on the map you wish, so that's kind of cool. Since we know how the game works, we are not going to listen to the sheriff and the first thing I'm going to do is visit Stanoe because he's the guy who buys clock reactors. And immediately there are some visible changes here, so first off this TAM or Chrome was not an actual vehicle in this version, it was completely static, it, yeah, it was, you were not able to drive it at any point of the game. Later on we added a mission that allows you to acquire it and it becomes yours, you can drive it as well. We have additional special missions with it. Yeah, so let's sell our clock reactors. Okay, all of them. So we get a bit of money. Uh, one thing that we can also notice while we are here, and that is the lack of tessellation on the floor. So, this floor looks very, very, very flat, yeah, and tessellation definitely helps improve the graphics uh, a lot without too much effort from the development standpoint. Yeah, so that's quite cool. We are entering Fartsville, and the first building that's coming across our way is the Corona pub here on the right so let's go visit the Corona pub and see what's different here I can immediately say that 
this road looks different and also there is no fence around the pub. There are a few more NPCs here, also the lighting was fixed. And on Stow there is no pot, so in the latest version of the Turbo Chicken Simulator you can cook. So the ingredients that you pick up along the way, you can combine them and create different types of meals that can heal you, that can improve your performance, your attack abilities and make the game more fun. Yeah, also this uh, pig here was moved, yeah, very very big change <laughs> to the game. Let's go to the next location. Very close to the pub, uh, two new locations were added, two new buildings. First one would be Stanoya's house, which is around here, I believe. And yeah, it doesn't exist here. There is no Esmeralda, there is no Stanoya's house. And here, on the edge of the map, there is also yet another house that was introduced where a special fellow named Hen Snow lives. Yeah, so if you look here, there is nothing, but in the latest version, there is a beautiful new house. Okay, so we are a bit deeper into Fartsville, and let's look at some changes that were made here. So, first of all, the corn is something you can pick up now. In the version 0.1, it was just aesthetic to make things look nice. Here is uh, Marian's house that didn't change much, but on the other side, the racetrack has changed completely. Uh, this version was very bare bones. We did plan to introduce racing eventually, but yeah, it was not a thing in this version. Also, uh, like this Hamilton's house looks quite different, or his ticket pool. Yeah, also there is no uh, achievements or uh, leaderboards here. So that was missing. These flags around the track look horrible. <laughs> they were very static. Yeah, the start line also not that beautiful. Yeah, so all of that was improved. In the latest version you can actually challenge other players and compete for the best time on the track, earn some prizes. Yeah, it's much much better, definitely. As for Temzilla, uh, I don't believe it changed much, so it stayed pretty much the same, but the Coco Jumbo Motel, it definitely had a lot of changes, because the first version, first of all, again, no fence here, uh, visual detail, but the Coco Jumbo Motel did not work at all, so it was just a placeholder. At the time, there is no one inside, you can't rent the room, nor you can sleep in the room. And in the latest version of the game, you can actually sleep overnight and wake up in the morning, so that's quite cool. Let's go to Ilya, here on the shore again, no fence, and same thing goes for the Ilya's repair shop, it also got its own fence, so we like fences, what can I tell you, the more fences the better. <laughs> okay, let's enter Ilya's shop and see the differences. Come on, Hugo, come on, you can do it. All right, a little bit back. All right, okay, we are at Ilya's shop. Now, you can immediately see that performance upgrade did not exist at all. So you were pretty much stuck with this Hugo that you got. And yeah, if you drove the, the basic Hugo, you, you know it's not the, the, the best experience. And especially, 
in this first version where, where the first Yugo was really horrible to compare to the latest version. But at least we can change the color of our car for free and the body modifications were present. Yeah, this part did not change much, but again, no performance upgrades. So this is a great location to show off something that's also new and that's different types of enemies. Now the first version of the game only had one type of enemies and they had only one type of bullets. Uh, there were actually uh, different difficulty levels of enemies. Some of them were shooting faster and had more health, but other than that they were all the same. And the latest version has two types of uh, enemies, the standing turrets, the flying turrets, but they can have different type of, types of bullets. So, for example, they can poison you, they can uh, cripple you, they can burn you, and they can also uh, deal more damage or just shoot the regular old bullets. Now, of course, that's something that we are going to improve on in the future, so definitely plan to add more variety to the enemy system, even though it is much better than the one we had in the first version. We are now in a different part of the map and that's the Coxfield town and the thing you can immediately notice is that there is no taxi service. So we implemented taxi driving and taxi service building where you can go and get your uh, access to the taxi and drive around uh, delivering clients to their locations, earning money. So that's kind of cool, completely new feature that was missing here. Uh, the store did not change that much. You can still buy clothing in it. Uh, visually, there were a bit of changes here, but nothing spectacular from the uh, landscape perspective. Uh, whoa, come on, you will come on. You can do it. Uh, we are going to go to the cinema here. And in the cinema, again, you can notice that outside of it it's quite empty and uh, the latest version actually has some cool guys that will give you some quests, that can talk to you, so construction workers working on finishing the cinema, so that's also very cool. Let's move forward to the casino. Okay, we're at Coxfield Casino and believe it or not, in the version 0.1 you couldn't enter it because it was again just a placeholder, something that will come in the future and it did come. Uh, in the latest version of the Turbo Chicken Simulator there are two quests to acquire here and also you can try your luck on the slot machine. So yeah, it's a functional casino now, more features will be added as well, more games, but for now it's good. Now, uh, on the right side here, we've added a DMV, a uh, license plate changing facility, as well as a clock notice, a funny fella, we don't want to spoil anything, but he will take you on a very cool quest, so check it out definitely, if you didn't already. We have moved a bit away from the Coxfield and we are entering the area known as the Dead Forest. Again, uh, there is some road missing here, no pickup items, no special shrooms, and I can't even continue with Hugo, and no camp location that's right around here. Again, a funny, funny cool thing. Yeah, but except for that, there were many, many more changes, for example, settings updates and different quests that were added to the game. Uh, we covered all of those in our regular game development diaries. To remind everyone, we release a new patch to the game each Friday and each time we create a new patch, we release a new development diary showcasing all the changes. Once again, Leave your comments in the, 
in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this type of video. Tell me about all the ideas you have for the game or anything else. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you all for watching. Bye.